Hey everyone, today we're going to be checking out Acoustic Lounge from Ubershaw. This will run in the free Elastic 3 player. If you've been following our page and our deals, you should probably know how this works by now. But if you don't, I'll break it down really quickly. We have Acoustic Lounge A, B, and C here in the Elastic 3 player. Now the 70 right there means that these are all recorded at 70 BPM. Acoustic Lounge B is 80. Acoustic Lounge C is 90. Now you see here we have these different names here. Uh, for instance, let's click Anchor 70. And we click on that and this will be the full mix. So we'll hear what everything sounds like playing all together. And then when I click these down here, it's the different layers or elements of that full mix, but they're isolated. Now to get these to be playable, you simply take this, drag it down. Now this is mapped to my C key. If you want the drums, bring it down to C sharp. So while all these kits are kind of made to go together, uh, for instance, if you want the melody from Anchor and then the drums from this one called Mellow. Simply drag the different one down here. C1, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. Those are all of your keys and all you have to do is press the keys and it will trigger those loops. For demonstration purposes, I'll probably just stick to the full mixes. I'll just go here and you hit this button here and it'll play and we'll hear what that sounds like. So anytime I play a full mix, keep in mind you can isolate each of those layers, take them all apart, mix and match them with different ones as long as they're the same BPM and get, you know, totally crazy results if that's what you want to do. So let's check out some of the sounds included. <laughs> So some really nice smooth sounds there. Now if you're wondering how to actually get these to play, it's very simple. You just, you know, hit the key and it will trigger those loops to play. So let's take this one, drag it down to our C there, and then we just hit the key and it'll loop. So if you don't want to have like those melodies, you think they'll be too recognizable, while some of them are really nice kind of human performances, I understand that as well. Maybe you just want the rhythms or something like that. Um, so of course, just, you know, preview each of these layers and it'll kind of tell you, give you hints like Tom, Ride, uh, in, in the descriptions here with the names of them. So you can, of course, you know, just mix and match however you want. And I have no idea what this will sound like, but maybe it'll suck. Maybe it'll be good. And then we just program different uh, elements of those to the different keys and then just hit, hit the keys and we'll play.
So if you aren't sure exactly what key you're going to be in, it'll always tell you here with whatever kit you're in. So we'll back it up. Uh, there, you'll see right there, C, A, C, and it'll tell you what key you're going to be in for those melodic elements. Again, if you don't want the melodic elements and just want you know, some percussive elements, simply go in, swap those out, and then you can play it, and it'll just be drums. So let's go in and check out some of the other sounds we have available here. So another thing to point out, you hear on this one how this one is the intro. Let's back it up. This is called easing and 70 BPM. Now you could probably tell when I actually played those one, two, three, four. One was the intro, two and three were sort of the verses, maybe three was the chorus, and then four was the ending, and it just kind of ends it nicely with this one. So nice intro, verses, chorus, and then the nice ending there. Let's go on to Acoustic Lounge B. We're going to bump things up to 80 BPM.
All right, let's go on Acoustic Lounge C, which again bumps things up a little bit, and we'll be at 90 BPM now. <laughs> 